the door Gazer. We're on, uh, he's the chief scientist on this cruise, and he's going to explain to us a little bit about what, what he's doing with the CTD. So the CTD is one of the life floods of uh, the vessel, not the life flood. It has uh, sensors for oxygen, temperature, depth, salinity, uh, fluorescence, usually you take the chlorophyll, and a few others. And then these bottles are on, on the rosette. So as you uh, go down into the water column, you see features, and then you decide where you want to take your samples. And as you can see, we have six biscuit bottles and three GoPro bottles. The GoPro bottles are for trace funnel work. Uh, but we just, we're not doing that on this cruise because we just have them back in a refurbish for testing and they're working fine. And then what happens is that we'll sample, and I can do a demonstration of the sampling for dissolved oxygen if you want. Okay. Let me go get some bottles. Alright, sounds good. So, we're doing one of the oldest chemical measurements known as oceanography. That's chemical that's for dissolved oxygen. And we actually do a titration that can be dated back to the 1880s when it was developed. And it's the way we calibrate all our uh, oxygen sensors, either on the CPD or on a glider or on the mooring. And so what we're doing now is uh, we're going to collect oxygen so you can see that there's oxygen in the plants. So the way we get rid of that is we overfill this bottle at least three times. <coughs> and typically what you tell, tell people is, uh, you know, count to maybe 20. And that'll do it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add two reagents. And the reagents are going to precipitate uh, a manganese compound known as MnOOH. And later on, we'll acidify that. And uh, there's iodide that we also add. And that acidification has the manganese 3 react with iodide to form molecular iodine. And then we titrate that versus a compound called thiosulfate. So what you're going to see add a manganese compound and then our other device broke so we're going to use the type header here. Andrew's adding sodium hydroxide with sodium iodide and you see a precipitate form because there's so much sodium hydroxide and you'll see a brown precipitate and a white precipitate. The white precipitate is due to magnesium hydroxide, calcium carbonate and the brown is due to the MN OOH, which is what we want. Now, the darker this class gets, the more oxygen there is. When we do work in the Chesapeake Bay in the bottom waters, there's absolutely no no oxygen, and so this would look entirely white with no brown. And you can see that it's nicely nicely brown. And so we let this sit for half an hour, so that we make sure that all the uh, oxygen is reacted with the manganese too that we put in form the manganese three compound. Okay. Uh, and we do this in replicate up to three or four times, so we have good statistics on our values. So since this goes back to 1880, this titration, we have a direct comparison with data that goes back a long, long time. And that's one of the uh, nice things about this particular technique. And then all the chemical sensors that we now use that are electronic are pegged to this. So everything is it's good for historical records in time series. Okay. So okay. this is measuring dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen. Thank you much. Number three.